So we're at the Moscow Urban Forum. I'm just about to give a speech about um, seeing your neighborhood in a different way through photographs on your mobile phone and different ways, different techniques, uh, some advice that I've been given over the years from different brilliant photographers, some advice my friend Paul Kiss gave me years ago in Brussels about photography and uh, yes, just some other cool stuff like that. What have you got to say to the world? So, good afternoon. Um, as it says here, my name's Dan Smith, and they asked me to talk a little bit about uh, something to do with the, obviously, the Urban Forum. And this kind of struck a bell with me because uh, I'm kind of really interested in looking at the world through a lens, obviously, being a filmmaker and a photographer. This takes me back to a big story. Um, I used to live in Brussels before I moved back to London and then I moved to Moscow. And I've got a friend in Brussels who's a photojournalist who always managed to take a better photograph than I did. This is me, this is him. We photographed in the same building. We used to take long, long trips, long walks around the city. And we'd both see a really nice building and think, that'd be a nice photograph. And there would be me just taking a very standard, boring, photograph of a building. I would turn around and see my friend Paul laying on the floor, pointing straight up, and his photographs are always much better than mine. So, you don't have to always lay down. That's not the, uh, the answer. So I said, how is this possible? His photographs are always better than my photographs. How is that possible? Exactly like this, right? Imagine there's something in front of you and you're trying to photograph something. Yes, exactly. So, what can we do differently? How can you change that? Yes, bending your knees a little bit. What else can we do? What can we do to make something different? You stand on one leg, suddenly your balance goes over. Going up high, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go super high, you'll get a completely different shot. Your cameras will naturally auto-focus on your phones, so you don't need to worry about focusing. What else can we do? We can't climb on anything, don't climb on chairs or nothing. But try, what can we do, what can we do? I'm a fan, I always duck to my knees. For some reason, because I love the ground level of being close to the camera. You just have so much knowledge, how do you get something new in your head? Well, I don't know, let's share the secret, if you can say that. Thank you very much, thank you very much. <laughs> Anyone translate for me? Sorry, it's quite Ah, oh, thank you. Give me two seconds. I'll understand exactly. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. That's a great question. Um, uh, how do I find inspiration? Well, I'm lucky because I live here and I don't come from here, so I'm kind of a tourist all the time. Uh, I love architecture, um, and Moscow is full of some really incredible buildings. So, um, yeah, so that's my inspiration, is, is, is living in a place where uh, I don't come from, I think. Um, always being kind of a nomad. Obviously, you go on holiday, you go somewhere new. Going back to London, uh, I see somewhere, I see my old city in a different way. Uh, and this ever-changing light is always something I, I really love. So that's really my inspiration. Thank you. Good question.
tell we're in Moscow, there's a cheeky little birch tree. Look at it. I love him. Aliana's photographing me a lot. <laughs> it's excellent. I'm just uh, practice what you preach. Uh huh. Good. What good advice did you uh, did you pick up? Uh, notice more interesting things. Start mm -hmm. noticing. Start looking. Start be more uh, using different things around you as a, an object to help you to get better pictures. After my speech, people were kind of interested and wanted to uh, ask me more questions and stuff. It's good. Wanted to connect with me on Instagram and uh, be contact and stuff. It's nice. They've got a scale model of the buildings which they're planning to build all over Moscow. They're going to tear down the old uh, five-story buildings. And they're planning to build these Lego-looking things everywhere. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> now I keep laughing. Now Vichny's pointed out that I laugh like Dr. Evil. I can't stop doing it. <laughs> it's good to be back to uh, normal videos, normal vlogging. So this is the Moscow Urban Forum. Uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment, do all that kind of cool stuff, and uh, I'll see you later. Stick it in a drive.